This video was created early in preliminary design. It does not reflect details that are being developed now, future developments, or the results of public consultation. Welcome. You're one of the first passengers on Edmonton's Southeast to West LRT. Next stops, Millwoods, Grey Nuns, Millbourne. We're following the 13.1 kilometer southeast section of the line. We've just left the Millwoods Transit Center and we're heading north along 66th Street. Here, you can see the low floor train traveling with ease through an Edmonton snowfall. Now, we're at the Grey Nuns stop. Nearby is the Grey Nuns Hospital, one of two hospitals that will be closely served by the new Southeast to West line. On a winter day like this, passengers will appreciate the heated stops and stations throughout the line. And on to the Millbourne stop, still traveling north on 66th Street. We'll continue heading north past the Millwoods Golf Course and White Mud Drive as 66th Street becomes 75th Street. Next stops, Wagner Station and 73rd Avenue. Here you can see the Southeast to West LRV Operations and Maintenance Facility on the right. We're heading north on 75th Street and taking elevated track into Wagner Station, the location for the Wagner Transit Center, Park and Ride, and Kiss and Ride. There is the potential for transit-oriented development here in future. As you can see, accessibility for everyone is one of the strengths of Low Floor LRT. This elevated section of track continues, taking us west from 75th Street to 83rd Street, before it continues north at street level into the residential areas beyond Argyle Road. Here at the 73rd Avenue stop, Note the embedded track used in residential and commercial areas. Next stops, Bonnie Dune, Holyrood, and Strathern. Still headed north on 83rd Street, we're next to the Bonnie Dune Shopping Center, which is close to seniors' residences and includes a library and health services. It's an important and central location for residents. Just north of the shopping center, you'll see the developing Bonnie Dune Campus Park on the right. Now we're at the Holyrood stop, traveling north on 85th Street toward downtown Edmonton. You can see how well low floor urban LRT integrates with these established neighborhoods. Now we'll travel west along 95th Avenue to the Strathern stop. You can see another example of accessibility here. By the way, the stops in this video are plain. They won't be for long. Public consultation is letting Edmontonians help develop each stop's unique look. We're now heading down Connors Road into the North Saskatchewan River Valley. Next stops, Mutart, Quarters, Churchill, and Center West. Now we're at the Mutart stop, next to the Mutart Conservatory. This is the final stop south of the river. From here, we cross the river on a combined LRT and pedestrian bridge. This replaces the existing Cloverdale pedestrian bridge. We're getting a transparent view of the tunnel, which takes us from the riverbank to a portal just west of 95th Street along 102 Avenue. Here, the LRT returns to street level, where it's easiest for riders to hop on and off. The quarters stop here is part of the city's planned quarters redevelopment. Heading west along 102 Avenue to Churchill Station, we're in the heart of Edmonton, surrounded by City Hall, Winston Churchill Square, Citadel Theatre, the Alberta Art Gallery, and the city's main public library. It's a busy spot year-round, playing host to a number of the city's festivals. In this location, riders can go directly underground and make the connection between the southeast to west line and the existing line running northeast to south, including a stop at the University of Alberta. As well, 
The North to Nate Line is under construction here. It will connect with McEwen University, Royal Alexander Hospital, and the Northern Alberta Institute of Technology starting in 2014. The federal and provincial governments have been important financial partners in building Edmonton's LRT network. Still on 102 Avenue, heading west, we reach our final stop today, Center West, outside Edmonton's popular City Center Mall. When the 27-kilometer southeast to west line is complete, it will continue west from here, past Misericordia Hospital and the West Edmonton Mall to Lewis Farms Transit Center. Thank you for traveling with us today. More information can be found at edmonton.ca forward slash LRT projects.